parents, students, staff, and the entire Harringen CISD community. I am Steve Flores, Superintendent of Schools for the Harringen Consolidated Independent School District. The Harringen School District Board of Trustees has called the bond election on May 8, 2010 for the amount of $98.6 million. The Board of Trustees appointed a seven-member committee called the Future Facility Needs Committee, which was chaired by former State Representative Jim Solis. Principals and staff recommended additional citizens of Harringen to serve on the 85-member Future Facilities Task Force. This committee was divided into five subcommittees. The subcommittees were the elementary, secondary, other facilities, technology, and finance. Each subcommittee was chaired by members of the Future Facility Needs Committee appointed by the board. The committees reviewed information provided in the district's capital improvement plan, visited school building sites to better understand principal's priority list, reviewed information related to student growth projections and related demographics, and analyzed funding sources and the financial impact to the district and local taxpayers. After the comprehensive study, this is what has been recommended by the committees. All campuses will be impacted by bond election 2010. Campuses will receive renovations to heating and cooling systems, electrical capacity, especially with the increased use of technology, sidewalks, drainage, roofing, storage, classroom lighting systems, sprinkler systems, kitchen upgrades, canopies, and plumbing. Safety concerns will be addressed through exterior lighting, fencing, and security gates, restrooms, storage, parking, and infrastructure for technology, and campus beautification round out the types of renovations that will happen at most campuses. Technology infrastructure that supports increased use of technology and project-based learning environments will be upgraded throughout the school district. Let's take a look at some of the specific items identified for elementary campuses other than campus renovations. The bond would pay for installing air conditioning in all multi-purpose buildings at the elementary schools. A new classroom wing will be built at Jefferson Elementary to address the floating foundation and related structural problems identified at that particular campus. With the addition of full day kindergarten and growth in the Treasure Hills and Rodriguez areas, Additional classrooms are recommended for Treasure Hills, Rodriguez, Lamar, and Crockett. Campuses with existing playground equipment will receive accessibility guideline upgrades. Crockett, Jefferson, Means, Milam, Wilson, and Zavala will receive playground equipment. Now let's take a look at the secondary campuses. A new ninth grade academy will be built to reduce the overcrowding at both high schools. All Harlingen CISD entering ninth graders, approximately 1,200 students, will attend the new ninth grade academy. The ninth grade year is a critical transition year. The classroom environment will include the latest teaching and learning technologies in addition to the continuation of the middle school concept, teaming. The Harlingen CISD tradition of all extracurricular activities will continue at the ninth grade academy. A new middle school was recommended to help minimize traffic congestion on 13th Street and to accommodate growth. The current Memorial Middle School will become an administrative annex bringing all HCISD satellite facilities together in one place including a new network operation center, technology administration, technology training, parent and student support programs, federal and migrant programs, special education, research and evaluation, career and technology, central media center, advanced academic services, fine arts administration, athletic administration, and ticket sales. Rather than investing over $11 million to renovate the older administrative buildings located on Harrison, the J. Gordon Nix building on Tyler, and renovating Memorial Middle School, the district would demolish the older buildings and possibly sell 
some of those properties. All secondary campuses will receive renovations to heating and cooling, electrical, drainage, parking, lighting, plumbing, sprinkler, storage, and roofing systems. Gutierrez and Vela Middle Schools will receive restroom facilities located closer to the athletic fields. Vernon Middle School will also receive a band hall addition and the front facade of Vernon Middle School will be restored to maintain its historical integrity. Let's now review Bogus Stadium. The last bond election provided funds to renovate the home side of the stadium. Bogus Stadium renovations will include a new artificial turf, a new track and upgrades to accommodate field and track events, field lighting, additional parking, and visitor side renovations. Also recommended is a Performing Arts Center which will provide seating for 1200. The Performing Arts Center will be built to include instructional areas needed for all fine arts programs. Support areas for this facility will include a concession area, restrooms, practice rooms, dressing rooms, prop development and set storage, costume storage, dance warm-up rooms, and a black room. The stage area will support all programs with adequate theater lighting and sound systems. <laughs> Next on our list is an aquatic center. Pendleton Pool, owned by the city of Harlingen, is presently used by HCISD students. The school district pays the city an annual fee of $120,000 for the use of this facility. The new aquatic center will provide a 25-yard competition pool, a small warm pool for special needs students, dressing rooms and restrooms, instructional classrooms, and spectator seating for approximately 450 visitors. A swimming program for an elementary grade level has also been recommended. A new agricultural farm building will also be built. The facility will house various animal farm projects for high school students. The district's transportation and maintenance area will be separated. Growth throughout the school district has increased the total number of buses. Therefore, the maintenance department will be relocated to a larger area on Wilson Road that is currently being used for inventory and central receiving. This move will provide the transportation department with the necessary space to accommodate its fleet and allow room for growth. Both facilities will receive renovations and parking lot improvements. We now turn to the area of technology. This facility houses the records for every student in the district, personnel, payroll and business records, and the staff to support these systems. The Director for Technology is housed separately in the Administration Building along with Network Technicians. The Committee recommended centralizing all technology-related operations. These individuals will be located in the repurposed Memorial Middle School Administrative Annex. It is also being recommended to upgrade all district classrooms with new technology infrastructure that will provide adequate capacity for internet access, multimedia connections, computer wiring, video projection connections, and interactive electronic multimedia systems as well as an additional network infrastructure that will help support instructional programs. Next, let's focus on the numbers and how you will be affected by the sale of bonds if passed in the bond election on May 8th. The state of Texas currently has two funding programs that help school districts with bonded debt. The Instructional Facility Allotment, IFA, and existing Debt Allotment, EDA, programs. There are also new federal programs that could help with assistance. The amount of state aid is based upon the size of the district, its property values, the number of students, and the amount of the annual debt service. What does this mean to citizens of Harlingen? Well, it simply means that we have an opportunity to get approximately 50% of the bonds paid 
by the state of Texas. This is a unique two-for-one opportunity. In other words, if the bond election is passed for $98.6 million, then taxpayers in the district will only have to pay back half of that amount. The state will subsidize the difference. Taxpayers in Harlingen will pay the remaining payment on the bonds over a 30-year period through an increase in tax dollars. Here is a chart that shows how previous bonds have affected homeowners in the last two bond elections. In 1989, a bond issue of $20 million cost taxpayers an additional 15 pennies of $100 valuation of their home. In 1999, a bond issue of $80 million cost taxpayers an additional 10.17 pennies per $100 valuation of their home. For the 2010 bond election of $98.6 million, it will cost taxpayers approximately 9.7 additional pennies per $100 valuation of their home. This means that the average homeowner in Harlingen with a home valued at $89,123 will see an increase in their taxes of $86.45 per year or $7.20 per month. You can see other home values and their respective increases in this chart. This information takes into consideration a $15,000 allowance for a homestead exemption. The information does not take into consideration an increase or decrease in appraised property value. The estimated annual increase of 9.7 pennies is based on the current market interest rate of 4%. It is also important to note that taxpayers over the age of 65 years will see no increase in taxes on existing properties since levies are frozen for those taxpayers once they've been granted the exemption of over 65 unless they make improvements to their homestead. Currently Harlingen has one of the lowest tax rates for school districts in the Rio Grande Valley. Harlingen CISD has a tax rate of $1.12.5 Cities such as San Benito see a school tax rate of $1.30, while Laferia schools have a tax rate of $1.33. With an increase of 9.7 pennies, Harlingen will have a tax rate of about $1.22, still in the bottom half of school districts in the Rio Grande Valley. Harlingen CISD Board of Trustees passed a resolution stating that bonds will not be sold unless state funds are awarded. As you can see, an incredible amount of work went into determining facilities improvements and recommending solutions to the Board of Trustees. Harlingen CISD wishes to thank each of these Harlingen citizens for their time, their dedication, and their commitment to the process, and for the subsequent recommendations they brought forth. We encourage you to exercise your right to vote. The bond election is Saturday, May 8, 2010. Early voting is April 26 through May 4th. Monday through Friday from 8 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. at the Harnjan CISD Administration Office located at 407 North 77 Sunshine Strip. The district will be open on Saturday, May 1st, 2010 at 8 o'clock a.m. and conclude at 5 o'clock p.m. at the same location. Watch Harnjan CISD's Channel 17 or visit the district's website for details on voting sites and further information. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video about bond election 2010.